Okay, if I want to set up my compound rest to cut a taper, the tangent of half of the angle is equal to the taper per foot divide by 24. Okay, I know it looks complicated. It's not complicated. So let me explain how this formula works. When I set up a lathe, I'm physically standing there. I have my compound rest, I have my tool in, I have my part in the machine, my spindle's turning, and I'm ready to cut that part. I am cutting by means of a linear cut, a, a, a single direction. I have a single point cutting tool, and I'm engaging that tool into this side of the work, right? I don't have a round tool that surrounds that whole part and, and shaves material off. I just have a single point tool that comes into contact with one side. But because the part is spinning, if I take point one thou off this side, by the time the other side comes around, I'm still taking off point one thou. So if I take a single depth of point one, right? I set my zero, I'm just touching the material, and I set my zero, and then I dial in point one, I take off point two. It only makes sense, right? If I engage on one side and take off point one thou on one side, the material's spinning, so it takes off point one on the other side as well. So whatever you dial in on your compound rest, the machine takes twice that material off the machine. So what you're, you need to get in your head is that a compound rest cut is a radial cut. You're cutting a radius. And this is what we're solving. We're solving the radial cut. So that's why we need to figure out the tangent of half of the angle. So uh, guys, if I were to take this, right? This angle right here, right? This is an angle. This is what's called the included angle. Okay, this is the included angle. It's the whole angle, right? And, and, and I could draw this even simpler. If I, if I draw nothing else and, and I just take this, this taper I'm creating and I just bring it to a point, okay? If, if this wasn't cut off and I had a small diameter, if I just bring the, sorry, wow. If I just brought that to a point, this is an angle. It's a triangle, guys, and this is an angle. This is an included angle, right? It, it's for that, and these two sides, where they meet, that's the included angle. What we're solving, okay, is half of the angle. But we're solving, if this came to a point, we're just solving this here, guys. We're just solving one half of the angle. And that's what we want. Because our tool only engages with half of the part. Right? It's a linear cut. So this is how this formula works. Tan of half the angle is equal to the taper per foot divided by 24. So what's the taper per foot? Well, it's either given to you or you have to solve it. Big D minus little d divided by length of taper times 12. Boom, you got your taper per foot. So you solved it. It's four, let's say. Four divided by 24, right? Four divided by 24 uh, equals um, 0 0.166666, etc. 10 of half the angle is equal to this common fraction. And when I solve this common fraction, 10 of half the angle is now equal to this decimal fraction. That's all I've done, right? We've done fractions. We've taken a common fraction, solved it. We got a decimal fraction. We're trying to solve, remember, an angle. We're trying to solve half of the angle, right? Half of that angle. This is not an angle. This is a decimal fraction. But this tells us how to turn it into an angle. So what I'd like you to do 
you have a calculator, because I know you do, because I asked you to get one. Four, divide by 24 on your calculator will now say 0 0.16666666, etc. okay? Make sure your calculator is in DEG. D E G. If it is not, you will not get any answers right on any of your assignments. Okay? So if you can't figure out how to put it back into D E G on the back of your calculator is a tiny little hole. It's a reset. Stick your a needle in there, reset your calculator, and it'll reset it to D E G. Okay. So now that you have 0 0.16666, etc. in your calculator, I want you to hit the second F button. They call it a second function button, or it may just simply say shift. Okay, so hit that button, second function or shift, and then hit the tan button, this here, tan. Okay, so second function, tan, and then equals, all right, the Compound rest setting setting is 9.46232208 degrees. Now, let's let's go back to practical, okay? You can't set this on a manual lathe. You can't set this on a CNC lathe. On our manual lathe, if you look at the compound rest, it sits on that um, uh, rotary. No, sorry, it rotates 360 degrees, right? And you can see the single degree marks around the per periphery of the compound rest base. You can either set this to 9, or you can set it to 10, or you can get in really close and you can kind of set it in between the 9 and the 10, right? You can you can almost not, you're almost not able to do that because the degrees are so close together. This is about 9.5, right? So if we're setting this up on a manual lathe, I, I'm going to try and set this at 9.5 degrees-ish, okay? But the reality is, is you, you can't even you can't eye up a half degree accurately. So what I would do is I just try and take that reading line and just get it as close to um, in between uh, nine and 10. I get it somewhere in between because for the size of my taper, I'm not gonna see uh, any, any difference, right? So for the practical uh, application of this, guys, if this is my answer, I'm gonna round it to the nearest whole degree. Okay, I may try and set this, right? But the reality is it, it only has single degrees on the compound rest. So if I were to round this to the nearest whole degree, remember, I only need to look at one decimal place so I can get rid of all of this. And this tells me what to do with this, right? Because this is less than five, then my answer is going to be nine degrees. What is nine degrees? What did we just solve with the compound rest setting? We solved that half of the angle is nine degrees. So if I were to measure the included angle, if I were to measure this included angle, right, it would be 18 degrees, right? Because we are only solving half. We solve half because what we're going to do now is we just figure this all out. It says, oh, okay, nine degrees. What's nine degrees? I take my compound rest. I set it at zero. And then I rotate it nine degrees. And I take my cut. That's what we solve. And by me taking that cut at nine degrees, and then I check it, it's 18 degrees for an included angle.